this is Rich Harrington for Photo Focus, and I'd like to show you how to organize your video footage using Adobe Bridge. I like to use Bridge because I can simply point it at my hard drive and see all of my video files. For example, here's some footage from a recent trip to Tokyo. Notice I can adjust the size of the thumbnails using the dragging slider at the bottom, making it really easy to see my footage. If I click, the opportunity to see a preview in the upper right corner is available. This, for example, is a time-lapse shot. Let's go ahead and make these a little smaller. And what I'd like to do is organize things a bit. So you note as we go through here, I can apply ratings. So as I watch a shot, if I decide it's pretty good, I can use the ratings ability. And you do that just under Label. So on a Mac, Command 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. On a Windows machine, just add the Control key. And that makes it very simple to apply ratings. Note, as you go through and you start to rate shots, for example, I really like this one with a little bit of drama on the angle, it becomes easier to quickly preview and see things. Just click the play button and you can drag through if you want to get an idea of what a shot contains and then assign the rating. Now, as you do this, one of the best things about using ratings is that you have the ability to use the filter tab. Therefore, you could say only show me four and five star images, which quickly filters down the rest of your content. And remember, in this case, I'm using the word images to relate to video files. Now, the advantage with all of this is that when you are in an app like Photoshop, you could quickly choose Browse and Bridge, and that'll switch you back over to Bridge where you can work. All right, let's go ahead and clear the filters here for a second and just take a look at some of the shots. If I decide as I'm working I want to group things together, I can do that as well. For example, all of these shots are from one location, so I'll just stack those into a group to make it a little bit easier to organize. And this way, as I'm going through, I can take shots that are similar or from a particular event and keep them organized. Here are some of our nighttime footage. Let's group those. And I'm going to add that to that group as well, actually. There we go. I'll just re-invoke the group command. And you see those can be easily expanded. And let's take some of this train footage and daytime shots and group those. And it makes it very easy. In fact, if I want to hide a shot, I could do that as well by just choosing reject and it will now be able to be hidden. If you want to hide those rejected shots, just choose View and Uncheck Show Reject Files. So that's a nice easy way to start to filter things down as you get organized. One of the other things I really like is the ability to make a collection. So as I'm browsing, I can make a new collection here. I'm not going to put the current files in and I'll just call this Tokyo Selects. And let's go back here for a second. And as I start to find some of my favorite shots, the ones that I know I want to use, I can grab those and drop them into that collection. Now, let's go to another folder from that same shoot, and I want to get a few more. I like some of these shots here of the street fair and the lights and the busy traffic. And I'd like a little bit of energy with some soft bokeh. That's looking good. And let's keep this a little bit more urban oriented. I'll save these others for another project. And I'll drag those selects in. Well, note at this point, I could choose that collection. And even though that footage is coming from multiple folders or even multiple drives, I can start to organize it for my editing project in one place. In fact, as I'm building this, I can even begin to rearrange the shots to start to tell the story that I'm looking for. For example, maybe I want to walk down the street, then board the train and ride the train. Then we get off the train later in the evening to the lights of the city, and we start to walk around and explore the sights and sounds, and I've got a short visual story here. Well, that really made it easy to get things organized, and that's one of the best things about Bridge, is the ability to get your shots as you want them. And remember, you can also be browsing your actual cards this way if you just want to go right off the memory card. When you do that, just choose Select All, and then I recommend Tools, Batch Rename. 
This allows you to say where you want the files to go. So for example, I can copy these to another folder. I'm going to choose Browse and just specify a folder for my edit. Let's just make a new folder here. And I'll hit Open to choose it. I'm going to rename these here. And instead of date and time, let's just go with a simple number sequence here. There we go. Three digit sequence. And I'll preserve the original file name into the actual metadata. So my shots are going to get renamed. So they have a more unique name here tied to the project. Although the original names are pretty good in this case. And that's looking good. I'm going to click rename and it's going to copy those from my memory card or my transfer drive to my editing drive and get the footage ready to edit. Remember, this is just one more way to get organized. It allows you to consolidate all of the shots you want to use into Photoshop into one folder. And I highly recommend you do that. If you're going to be pulling from different locations, use something like Bridge or Lightroom to organize all of the material to a single destination folder. And that's going to make editing that much easier inside of Adobe Photoshop.